Welcome back to Story Chief's SEO Fundamentals for Writers training course. In today's video, I'm going to cover off two things. First, I'm going to explain a little bit about why Google and SEO are such important marketing channels for so many writers. And then I'm going to show you a little peek behind the curtain and explain how Google works and what you need to know about Google's search algorithm in order to start getting your content to rank. Ready to start? Let's dive in. Did you know that 61% of marketers say SEO is their top priority when it comes to inbound marketing? That makes SEO one of the most popular channels for anyone trying to grow their presence online. But why do so many people choose SEO to put at the top of their priority list? Well, let's take a look at some numbers. In 2020, there were 7 billion Google searches performed every single day. That's a total of 2.55 trillion searches in the last year, and that number has gone up by 2 trillion since 2016. In fact, nearly 60% of all the web traffic in the world is happening on Google. People love Google because it's incredibly easy to look up literally anything from how to boil an egg to Beyonce's height to the best beaches in Sydney. And more often than not, you'll come back with a website that answers and satisfies your question. And it might seem simple when you're the end user to just type something into Google and get a response, but behind the scenes, there's an incredibly complex system in place that sifts through every single indexed web page in existence to find the best match. To better help you understand how Google manages this monumental task, I want you to imagine yourself in an enormous shopping mall, the biggest shopping mall in the universe. And in the shopping mall, there are so many stores that it can be really overwhelming for shoppers. So the owners of this mall have employed hundreds of friendly, super intelligent robots. And these bots know where every single store in the mall is, and they're happy to guide you there. All you need to do to find the store you want is go up to one of those robots and say, where are the most comfortable men's shoes? Or I want to buy some candy. Now, the bots know that there are thousands of candy stores in this mall, so how do they decide which one to take you to? Well, they sort through their memory, and they look for certain aspects that they know will result in a good shopping experience for you. They know that some stores have beautiful window displays with lots of colorful candy and lots of variety that's all fresh and new, and they know that there are some stores that are dusty and haven't changed their window display in years, and they're all covered in cobwebs. They know that outside of some stores, there are big signs pointing the way and lights and music, and they know that other stores are tucked down dark alleyways in the mall where no one knows where they are can find them. Of course, I'm not talking about a shopping mall. In this analogy, the shopping mall is the internet, and those robots are Google. And just like the robots, Google has what's known as an index of every visible page on the internet. And when you type something into Google, the search engine's algorithm looks through the index to find the best result to give you. How does it determine what's best? Well, again, just like those robots, Google has what's known as ranking factors that it uses to grade your content. You can think of these ranking factors like a scorecard. The higher your content scores, the more likely it is to appear in the top 10 results, or what's often referred to as the first page. Reaching the first page with a piece of content you've written is the gold standard of SEO writing because being on the first page means you'll get a lot more organic traffic. In fact, on the first page alone, the first five results get nearly 70% of all clicks. But to make it to the first page, you have to know what ranking factors Google is looking for. So what are they? Well, Google actually has over 200 different factors it uses to determine which page to feature in its search results. Of course, we don't have time or need to go over all 200, but in the next video, I'm going to cover off the most important ranking factors that all writers should know about. For now, let's review some important terms from this video. We talk about organic traffic a lot in the SEO world, Organic traffic refers to any visitors that come to websites through Google. 
Other forms of web traffic include direct traffic, that's when someone just types your web address right into the search bar, or referral traffic, which is when they come to your website from a different website through a link. But organic traffic, when we're talking about SEO, that's really what we're focused on, people coming to your site through a search engine. When we talk about the index, we are referring to the massive database that Google and other search engines maintain and to organize and search through their content. When we call a piece of content indexed, that means that it's visible to Google's search engines. By the way, sometimes content isn't indexed on purpose because it's meant to be private, like a memberships only page. We'll talk more about how to make sure your content is visible in another chapter. Finally, we touch down on the words algorithm and ranking factors. Any website that has a search function from Google to LinkedIn to TikTok uses an algorithm to sort through and serve its content to users. These algorithms are made up of ranking factors that determine what content will be shown to users and when. For more detailed information about SEO and content marketing, be sure to visit my website or come say hello on LinkedIn or Twitter. Now, let's move on to the next video.